Was that last one recording? Sure was. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. Which one do you prefer? Oasis or Blur? No. What? Oasis, I, I mean Oasis. To find 50 better tunes than this, I think you can do it. Stop to the minor chief. No, it's not, it's in G. Well, I should know I wrote it. <laughs> what do you want to hear? Oasis. The next song is Married with Children. Yeah, which is a nice another one of these nice album tracks on Definitely Maybe. Uh, that really widened the appeal of the band because it was a very well number one. It was a song about being married with children, which quite a sizable proportion of the populace can claim. Um but the subject matter was very domestic, very I mean domestic nearly you know, Coronation Street sort of domesticity that uh, that the band really, the early years of the band they really sort of tapped into you know, what other band can you think of that would have made a tune as light-hearted in melody and delivery and even the drama ensconced within the, the lyrical content was very light-hearted it's literally just the you know a tune about just two people just fed up with each other's company uh, which I'm sure a lot of people are sort of right at this moment in in the world history people are probably getting very uh, it probably feels very relatable to but uh, you know even you know, if there were bands dealing with domestic issues, it was, you know... If you don't love me by now... There's all that sort of melodramatic shite. And sometimes you just... You're just sick of hearing somebody playing their fucking tunes all day. Again, it's a very straightforward tune in regards to the musicality of it. Uh, it's just a pretty... Not a standard chord sequence, but a very straightforward chord sequence. And it, it's played on, I think, a nylon string guitar, which was quite an interesting choice because it really softens the blow of it. If it was a full on steel string, even though it was acoustic, it would still sound harsher. Do you know, do you know that sort of strummy does that sort of. that sort of talk tonight? Brim. It takes that away because it's a softer sound that he's hitting when he's hitting the nylon strings, and obviously there is the, the steel strings etc. as well inside it in the in the song itself. But the nylon strings really dull the impact that the steel strings might have had, and obviously if it was a distorted distorted electric, it would have been a completely different song and would have been a completely different tone and a really very odd tone to close the album to. So as you can see, their ranks are pretty middling, well, upper middling, uh, all on going to the sort of 30s, late 20s in their rankings, um, which I feel is about right. Uh, it's a it's a top 50 Oasis song, but it's not it's not a world beater, but it is again. It shows it shows a breadth of creativity that contemporaries were not showing, uh, maybe through no fault of their own. You know, maybe Noel just had the opportunity to be more expressive um, on his first album. Um, but you know, it, it took a lot of it took a lot of confidence, a lot of chutzpah, if you want, or brass balls, to go to so many different directions on his first album, from something as raw and as powerful as Bring It On Down, to something as quaint. Quint, yeah, quint is this, um, and then something as epic as Live Forever and as sweeping as Slide Away, and just as just as as forthright as Rock and Roll Star, and as esoteric as Columbia. I mean, what? What a ma what a coverage that is! Like if you were to play songs, 
that is a very wide spectrum for one album to to cover while also being the fastest selling debut album of all time but to also have the mass appeal shows shows something shows that the, what was there was definitely something special definitely maybe one of the greatest albums of all time you can check out my acting and my podcasting fatherhead podcast and just a lot of my other stuff acting podcast other stuff